Our Father, your name, great God Almighty, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, thank you so much, Heavenly Father, who you are in this moment moment i'm glorify you and worship you your name alone fathers almighty god in this moment i'm sending out a message towards your sons and daughters all around the world please pour out the holy spirit give it to me wisdom and knowledge and father especially let me tell the truth towards your sons and daughters all around the world their name in the book of life in heaven chosen one elected one father poured out the holy spirit let them see let them listen what holy spirit speak to them let them understand let them be prepare themselves to be raptured mighty god please please be with me especially in this video i'd like to talk about it is book of the revelation chapter 3 11 i yeshua am coming quickly hold fast to what you have the faith so that no one will take your crown mighty god poured out the holy spirit from the beginning to the end by the cover of the precious blood of yeshua and and please please be with me and speak through me mighty god in the name of yeshua i do pray amen brothers and sisters in yeshua christ shalom my name is hanha in this video i would like to speak about especially this the i am coming quickly hold fast to what you have so that no one will take your crown it is the book of revelation chapter 3 11 I, Yeshua, am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, which is the faith in Yeshua, so that no one will take your crown. It is crown of the life in heaven. So, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, especially the book of Revelation, is very, very one of my favorite book of the Bible. So, especially a book of Revelation is a lot of pastors must be talked to you about do not read it because it is very complicated and it is very hard to understand and do not read it but it is not totally true this is very very important it is a prophetic book and especially before yeshua christ is coming uh before the rapture of the true bride of yeshua as well as before yeshua christ is coming back to um take take um casting satan's to um it is cast out for the a thousand years so for the before the millennium it is very important chapter as well as god almighty explain about the millennium timing as well as the new jerusalem and all the blessings will become it is very very important prophetic it is um book of book of the bible so especially if you are investment about on hours you can read from the book of book of revelation chapter first the two the last pages it is very short so it is on hours if you spend you can read the whole bible so it, it is one of my favorite favorite it is the uh, bibles and i want you to read the bible especially without your readings from the book of genesis to the revelation you will be misled by other peoples as well as so you will fall spiritually fall so that is why you need to full armor of god with the full of the word of god from the i highly highly recommended to you read the bible from the uh, genesis to the revelation just only 85 hours hours if you investment you can read the whole bible especially genesis it takes about four hours or this book of revelations it, it is takes about an hours here and there some are 15 minutes some are one hour some are two hours it is all together 85 hours within 20 days you can read the whole bible so from the book of the genesis to the revelation so in this moment i'm highly recommended to you because right now we are our facing way in front of the tribulation timing as well as yeshua christ is coming very very soon you must be spiritually really really alert and then please read the book of revelation 
I will read the book of Revelations. This word today's the message is I Yeshua am coming quickly. Hold fast to what you have, which is faith in Yeshua, so that no one will take your crown, which is um, crown of life in heaven. Book of Revelation, chapter three, eleven. Yeshua coming. Revelation chapter three, one to twenty-two. To the angel of the church in Sardis write that he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your deeds, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen the things that remain, which you were about to die. For I have not found your deeds completed in the sight of my God. So remember what you have received and heard, and keep it and repent. Therefore, if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief. I, Yeshua, will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I, Yeshua, will come to you. But you have a few peoples in Sardis who have not soiled their garments, and they will walk with me, Yeshua, in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes will thus be clothed in the white garments, and I, Yeshua, will not erase his name from the book of life, and I, Yeshua, will confess his name before my father Yahweh and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, and to the angel of the church in the Philadelphia write, He who is holy, who is true, who has the key of a day being, who opens and no one will shut, and who shuts and no one opens says this. I, Yeshua, know your deeds, behold, I, Yeshua, have put before you an open doors which no one can shut, because you have a little power, and I have kept my word, and have not denied my name, not denied my name, have not denied my name Yeshua. Behold, I, Yeshua, will come, those of the synagogue of Satan, who says that they are Jews and are not, but the lie, I, Yeshua, will make them come and bow down at your feet and make them know that I have loved you. Because you have kept the word of my perseverance, I also will keep you from the hour of testing, that hours which is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. I, Yeshua, am coming quickly. Hold fast to what you have, faith in Yeshua, so that no one will take your crown. He who overcomes, I will, Yeshua will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, Yahweh, and he will not go out from it anymore. And I will write on him the name of my God, Yahweh, and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God and my new name. He who has it on ears, let him hear so what the Spirit says to the churches, to the angel of the church in the Laodicea's right, the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God, says this, I know you are this, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither is hot or cold, I will spit you out of my mouth, because you say, I am rich and have become wealthy and have deeds of nothing and you do not know that you are a wretched and mis miserable and poor and blind and naked i advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may become rich and the right garments so that you may clothe yourself and that the shame of your snakeness will not be revealed and the eyes I slayed to anoint your eyes so that you may see those whom I love I prove reprove and dis discipline therefore be jealous and repent behold I stand at the doors and the knock if anyone hears my voice and opens the door I will come into him and will dines with him and he with me
He who overcomes, I will grant to him so to sit down with me and my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father Yahweh on his throne. The he who has an ear, let him hear so what the Spirit says to the churches. Revelation 19, 1-21. After these things, I heard something like a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. Because his judgment are the true and the righteous, for he has judged the great harlot who was corrupting the earth with her uh, immorality, and he has avenged the blood of his bond servants on her. And a second time, they say, Hallelujah, her smoke rises up forever and ever. And the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God who sits on the throne saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came from the throne saying, Give a praise to our God, all you his bond servants, you who hear, you who fear him, the small and the great. Then I heard something like the voice of a great multitude and like the sound of many waters and like the sound of mighty pills. My repose of thunder says, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad that I give the glory to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It was given to her to clothe herself in fine linen, bright and clean, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said to me, Right blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are true words of God. Then I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours, and your brethren who hold the testimony of Yeshua worship God, for the testimony of Yeshua is the spirit of a prophecy. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who said on it is called faithful and true and in the righteousness he judged and weighs his word his eyes are a flame of fire and on his head are many uh, di diadems and he has the names written on his which no one knows except himself he is clothed with a robe dipped in blood and his name is called the word of god and the end armies which are in heaven clothed in the fine linen, white and clean, were following him on the white horses from his mouth comes a sharp sword so that with it he may strike down the nations and he will rule them with a robe of iron and he threads the winepress of the fierce wrath of God and the Almighty. And on his robe and on his thigh, he has a name written, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying to all the birds which fly in mid the heavens, come assemble for the great supper of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of commanders and the flesh of a mighty men and the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free men and slaves and the small and great. And I saw the beast and the king of the earth and their armies assembled to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army and the beast was seized and with him the fourth prophet who performed the signs in his presence by which he deceived those who have received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image it is two words thrown alive into the lake of fire which burns with the brimstone and the rest were killed with the sword which came from the mouth of him who sat on the horse and all the birds were filled with their flesh book of revelation chapter 21 to 15 then i saw an angel come down from heaven holding the key of the office hell and a great chain in his hand and he lays hold of the dragon 
the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and he threw him into the abyss hell, and shut it and sealed it over him, so that he would not deceive the nations any longer. Until the thousand years was completed after these things, he must be released for a short time. Then I saw a throne, and they sat on them, and the judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Yeshua, and because of the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received the mark on their foreheads and on their hands. And they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years was completed. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection. Over this, the second death has no power, but there will be priest of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. When the thousand years are completed, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for the wars. The number of them is like the sand of the seashore. And they came out on the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And the fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devils who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fires and brimstone. Brimstones were uh, where the beast and the first prophet are also. And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat upon it, from whose presence earth and heaven flee away. And no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books according to their deeds. And the sea gave off the dead which were in it, and death and the haze, hells gave up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every one of them according to their deeds. Then death and the haze, hells were thrown into the lake of fires. This is the second death, the lake of fires, and if anyone names was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Book of Revelation chapter 21, 1 to 27. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth passed away, and there is no larger than any sea. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride, uh, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the tor uh, tabernacles of God is among men, and he will he will dwell among them, and they shall be his peoples, and God himself will be among them. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will no longer be any death. There will, be, they will, they will no longer be any mournings or uh, crying or pain. The first things have passed away. And he who sits on the throne says, Behold, I am making all things new. And he said, Write, for these words are faithful and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Arpai and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give to the one who thirsts from the spring of the water of life without coast. He who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. But for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominables and murderers and immoral persons and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with the fire and the brimstones, which is the second death. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven balls full of the seven last flags came and smoked with me, saying, Come here, so I will show you the bride, the 
wife of the Lamb, Yeshua's bride, and he carried me away in the spirit to the great and the high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God, there is a brilliance was like a very costly stone, as a stone of crystal clear jasper. It had a great and high wall with the twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels and the names were written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel. There were three gates on the east, and three gates on the north, and three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. And the wall of the city had twelve foundation stones, and on them were the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The one who spoke with me had a gold measuring rod to measure the city and its gates and its wall. The city is laid out as a square, and its length is as great as the widths, and he measured the city with the road, 1,500 miles its length and the width and the heights are as equal. And he measured its wall, 72 yards, according to human measurements, which are also angelic measurement. The materials of the wall was jasper, and the city was pure gold like a clear glass. The foundation stones of the city were wall adorned with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation stone was jasper, the second uh, sapphire, the third uh, chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth chardonyx, the sixth uh, chardus, the Seventh, uh, chrysalis, the eighth, beryls, the ninth, topaz, the tenth, uh, chrysoprase, the eleventh, uh, genix, the twelfth, uh, amethyst. And the twelve gates were the twelve pearls, which all one of the gates of a singer's purse, and the street of the city was pure gold like a transparent glass. I saw no temples in it, for the Lord God the Mighty and the Lamb are its temples, and the city has no need of the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God has illuminate, illumined it, and it is a lamp, it's the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it in the day times, for there will be no light, no night there. Its gates will never be closed, and they will bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it, and nothing unclean, and no one who uh, practices abominations and the layings shall ever come into it, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, Book of Revelation, chapter 21 to 21. Then he showed me a river of the water of life, clear as a crystal, coming from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of its street on the either side of the river was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruits, yielding its fruits every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his bone servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no longer be any night, and they will not have the needs of the light of the Lamb, nor the light of the sun, because the Lord God will illumine them, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are faithful and true, and the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show to his bond servants the things which must soon take place. And behold, I am coming, I, Yeshua, am coming quickly, blessed is he who he is. The words of the prophecy of this book, I, Yeshua, I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard, I saw, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angels who showed me these things. But he says to me, do not do that. I am a fellow servant of yours and of yours, brethren, the prophets, and of those who 
who hid the words of this book worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the one who does, who does wrong still do wrongs, and the one who is filthy still be filthy, and let the one who is righteous still practice righteousness, and the one who is holy still keep himself holy. Behold, I am coming quickly. And I reward, behold, I, Yeshua, am coming quickly, and my reward, Yeshua, reward is with me, Yeshua, to render to every man according to what he has done. I, Yeshua, am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter by the gates into the city outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the immorals persons and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and the practices lying i yeshua have sent my angels to testimony testifies to you these things for the churches i am the roots and the descendants of david the bright morning star the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let the one who here says, Come, let him let, and let the ones who is thirsty come, let the ones who wishes to take the water of life without cost. I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone's added to them, God will add to him the plague, plague you which are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the tree of life and from the holy city which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Yeshua. The grace of the Lord Yeshua be with all. Amen. Mighty God, your name is Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Glory to you, Father. Please pray the Holy Spirit, whosoever is, Father is watching this video, let them understand, let, let them see and listen while the Holy Spirit speaks to them. Please pour out the Holy Spirit to me, give it to me wisdom and knowledge from the beginning to the end. Cover with the precious blood of Yeshua. Speak through me, mighty God, in the name of Yeshua. I do pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, in this video, I'd like to speak about especially, uh, it is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, 11. I, Yeshua, am coming quickly. Hold fast to what you have, just so that no one will take your crown. Basically, keep your faith. Do not betray, do not deny Yeshua's name. Yeshua is a real God. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, 2004, creator of the universe Yahweh visited me and he was spoke to me Korean language. 너는 저리로 가야 한다. 세상 문을 닫을 시간이 다 되었는데 내 아들 딸들이 아직 나를 모른다. God Almighty walked with me almost 20 years. And then God Almighty, creator of the universe, God creator of the universe, he is great God. He is a spiritual existence. So God Almighty, who, He created everything. He created a heaven and earth and the universe. And it is all the elements and all the people, animals, plants, or even uh, it is very simple creatures. God Almighty created everything. So especially when whatever is God Almighty creates creation, whosoever's life information or anything, God Almighty doesn't have any problems to speak with them. God Almighty sometimes using speaking Korean language to me or is English or is God Almighty using all kinds of the elements or is any kind of the things God Almighty doesn't have any method or mean it doesn't mean anything. God Almighty using all. So God Almighty sometimes whisperings, the real life, real time, or God Almighty through the vision and dream, God Almighty speak Korean language or English, or God Almighty send it to me, archangels or angels to for the messengers for the send out the message from Him. God Almighty doesn't have any problems to speak with anybody in this earth. Eight billion people, eight zero 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 people. Any kind of the languages doesn't have any problem. God Almighty speak to them, or He doesn't have any problems to communication with anybody and any 
creation, even animals, even trees, even flowers, it doesn't have any problems to communicate with him. So God Almighty showed me the vision since 2004, and then I heard the voice of God Almighty, creator of the universe, as well as I met Yeshua Christ personally more than 20 times. Yeshua, Yeshua. He, his name is very precious. You have to call on to his name as a Yeshua because there is a name in the name of Yeshua. It is great power and glory and authority and ability in the name of Yeshua. Even Satan or even uh, demons, they do know that Yeshua's name. So that is why they try to interrupt in you as much as they can. They do not let you call on to his name is as a, like a Yeshua. That is why it is a you using other names, so kind of is a made up name, scissors, whatever. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, as a true a true bride of Yeshua, as a true God Almighty, sons and daughter of God, if you're truly obeying and respect the God Almighty, you must, cre you must call his name Yahweh Holy Spirit Yeshua. Why I call his name is Yahweh? Because people are called Jehovah or is Yahweh or is because some point of some point of times i heard the voice of the satan i met satan five times personally so first times when satan's when i met the satan's satan spoke to me in english this year's and next next year's the hell gate will be open another times satan spoke under my feet i was going up with the Yeshua christ the satan was um, speak under my feet. Yahweh, 우리가 원했던 모든 영혼들이 이 땅에 모두 다 남았다. Ha 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 ha. That was Korean language. Yahweh, whosoever we wanted to have, they are all left behind. Ha 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 ha. This is the this is the uh, Satan said in Korean language. So Satan knows about the Yahweh name, and Satan knows about the, who is Yeshua. That is why you have to call God Almighty, our God, Creator of the Universe, Lord of Lord, Alpha and Omega. He is name is Yahweh. Yahweh Holy Spirit Yeshua, creation of the universe, which is Abarat Father, his name is Yahweh, that's what I call, and the Yeshua is a creation, destruction, salvation, knowing knowledge, and experiencing is in the name of Yeshua. It is Mary and Joseph, there was a Mary and Joseph, Mary was pregnant before he, um, he already, it is, um, he engaged with uh, Joseph to marry but she is pregnant with the Holy Spirit. And then Gabriel's, which is Angel Gabriel's, is come to, it is uh, Joseph's dream, and do not, Joseph, do not be afraid to take it, take a marriage to come uh, for you as a wife, because whosoever is Mary pregnant, she is pregnant by Holy Spirit, Emmanuel, God be with us, God be with you, God be with us, and then that is, Mary will be delivered the son. So his name is Emmanuel, which is, which is a God be with us, God be with us, and which is a savior, which is Yeshua. Very precisely, Gabriel's, Angel Gabriel's, gave it to the Joseph about instruction, as well as message, which is Mary will deliver the baby boy, and his name will be the Yeshua, and he's going to be the Emmanuel. He's going to be saved for his people, so saved his people. So, Yeshua, Yeshua, there is a four alphabet in the name of Yeshua. So, there is a name, meaning is the Yeshua is, creator of the universe name, Savior's name, his name is Yeshua. So, which is like a creation, destruction, uh, salvation, knowing knowledge and experiencing. There is why, that is why you must call his name as a Yeshua. And the Yeshua Christ is coming very, very soon. So God Almighty, since 2004, God Almighty showed me numerous number of divisions. God Almighty showed me, especially almost 20 years, God Almighty showed me the vision and dream. Since 2009, God Almighty pulled out the Holy Spirit and they showed me so many numerous number of the vision and dream, especially what is coming upon us. And the mark, mark of the Satan is here now. And then all the secrets about the needles. And God Almighty showed me what is coming upon us, especially 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. God Almighty, show me the vision about the Nibiru is coming, and it is a uh, red planet is coming, white planet is coming, it is a super large red planet is coming, it is metallic colors, it is a disc shape of the, it is a, uh, um, 
Uh, it is a planet that is coming behind of the sun right now. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, you must know the truth. At least, even if you are not blind, at least you can see the truth. Do you know this effect? Number one, the cloud is coming down to the earth. Number two, every single day you can see the super moon and super sun. Number three, you can see the camp trail. You, number three, you can see the pink sky. Number four, chemtrail, C-H-M-T-R-A-I-L, chemtrail spreading all around the world. Number five, the moon is round and round. It is spinning right now. God Almighty, since 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, God Almighty, whatever Father Almighty, show me the vision. The is coming. It is red planet is coming, coming, coming. Uh, it is a white planet is coming. It is a super large metallic colors of the uh, super large red color. is a, a planet is coming, metallic color, which is like a disc shape of the, um, it is, um, existence is coming behind of the sun. is so fast speed up and according to uh, God Almighty show me the vision latest division it is especially white planet it is the colors the size is the white planet is humongous and color of the white planet is like a so it, 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 uh, it is kind of the rainbow color is so twinkle twinkle it was so beautiful and it is um, more than one white planet so God Almighty, show me the vision. So many multiple different planets is hovering. It's coming faster this way. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, no matter what, you take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera wherever you live. It doesn't really matter wherever you live. You're living in the North American continent or South American continent or you are living in the Australian continent or you are living in the Asia, Africa or Middle East or... Uh, Europe, it doesn't really matter. You're living in the island, it doesn't really matter. North Pole, South Pole, it doesn't really matter. Take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera right now. So, all around the world, trying to hide from the heavenly body, they're uh, spraying chemtrail, C H M T L A I L, spreading all around the world. But they cannot hide anymore. So wherever you live, it is getting clear and visible. So take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera right now you will take the pictures about the a planet behind of the sun it is coming closer and closer about the oldest secret about the planet is coming and since 2022 it is august 28 accidentally i took a picture of the sun because the western side of the sun was very bright i took a picture of the sun i found it it is a white planet behind of the sun right now today is 2024 march Fourth, so it is like a more clear and the more visible now. So it is like uh, all around the world. It doesn't really matter. I am watching and absorbing and monitoring since um, it is since 2022. It is August 28. FAA weather web camera. It is every day. I'm monitoring about it. It is at the clear and visible. The planet is more than six hours everywhere now, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So most of the FAA weather web camera, it is almost up to 90% of the camera is shut down. So, and all the times it is Photoshop works so much and then deleted everything. Try to hide it from the public. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, wake up wake up wake up spiritually wake up you must be spiritually really really intense right now do not do not get do not receive and do not take do not eat do not take do not receive this is all of the mark of the beast mark of the beast is existence surrounding us right now and especially when you're connected with the mark of the beast and then your your body will be interface your body will be connected with the computer system brothers and sisters in yeshua christ yeshua is coming very very soon i do not know the time is come right now it is partially you are seeing the pink sky but the time is come entire society sky will be positive pink colors even air will be the purple colors in that point of times north pole and south pole will be shifting in that point of times catastrophic event will be occurred i do not know when but it's coming 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 very closer and closer every day especially today is march it is the 4th 2024 wherever i live in ontario canada this winter 2024 winter we didn't have any winter at all so it is almost so mild like it is a spring all year all year or winter time 
which is uh, until at the end of the October, so we just wear the summer clothes. And the November, December, January, February, now is March. We didn't have so much snowstorm. It was very mild and very warm. So, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Yeshua Christ why is that? It is not the CO2 problem. It is not a climate change. It is not about the CO2 problem. It is the Nibiru and planet is coming right now. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera uh, right now. And you were taken. Latest vision of the God Almighty, show me the vision. It is eastern side is more visible. Eastern side of the white planet is more visible. And then when you take a picture of the sun or sky, you uh, planet will be taken as well as Pay attention when you take when you see the uh, television screen, which is a movie or drama or a sports or documentary or advertisement or uh, news. Pay attention when cameramen take a picture of the sun. It is reflection of the sun. There is a lot of lots of planet will be showing. This is what God showed me the vision. God is God Almighty. His name is Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. He doesn't have any problems to speak with anybody. And God Almighty showed me the so many numerous number of the vision and dream as well. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, the mark of the Satan matter, it is very severe. And especially book of the uh, Revelation chapter 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, keep going. It is very, very creator of universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, strongly warning about the mark of the Satan. So do not receive the mark of the Satan. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, spiritually awake. Spiritually, it is really, really awake. Last video especially, I would speak about lawless, which is like a Satan. He was here, he is here, he will be here, he will not go anywhere. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, he will not go anywhere. Nobody will die. Just only uh, I would talk about the Satan. And after then, then I was recorded almost an hour video. And then I was so severely sick. I was attacked by evil spirit. Severely sick because I'm speaking all the times about the um, it is spiritual secret. And then they try to attack my neck. I tried to, they tried to shut up my mouth. So I was so, so sick. I cannot believe. And then I have no energy. For three days, I was in bed. I couldn't drink. Uh, I couldn't I, I couldn't eat because no appetite at all. And then I was drink only vitamin C drink for three days in bed. I couldn't do anything. I have uh, no energy. And every single, my uh, whole body was uh, sick and aching. And it was uh, so, 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 so sick. So evil spirit, they know what I'm doing it. And they try to stop me as much as they can. But I will not stop it because this is older from Creator Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit. Spirit Yeshua. God Almighty, order me. God Almighty, call me personally. Yeshua Christ, call me personally. I met Yeshua Christ more than 20 times personally. Yeshua is real God. And you must hold, hold the name of the Yeshua until the end. Until you enter the kingdom of God, it is in the heaven and protected by protected by a gatekeeper of the heaven. You must fight with the sin. You must fight with the evil spirit. You must stand up. Yeshua Christ, you must be, keep your faith in Yeshua because do not betray him, do not deny his name. Yeshua is a real God. So today's it is Revelation uh, chapter chapter three. It is verse eleven. So it is do not betray Yeshua's name. So, Yeshua, I, Yeshua, am coming quickly, hold fast what you have, a faith, which is a, a true faith in Yeshua, so that no one will take your crown. Book of Revelation, chapter 3, 11. So, behold your faith, Yeshua, and until the end, you must be fight, and no one else take away your crown, which is a crown of life in heaven. So most important thing is brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, who you are, you are human. So you are, you are so look like 
creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. We are not tomato. We are not flowers. We are not a sparrow. We are not animals. We are very mysteriously created by God Almighty. And we, we have eyes, nose, and our organs. We have soul next to our heart. Our human soul's size and weight and value is in front of God Almighty. It is all equal. The value of the soul, it is the quality of the soul is different because some are worthy, some are not worthy. God Almighty, even now, is calculated about how much it is worthy for Him. So, basically, we are very miraculously created by God Almighty, creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. So, we are spiritual being, very, very precious. Every single people is where came from the heaven. Heaven is at the end of the universe, and hell is under our feet. So, we are all came down from heaven. God Almighty, one day, open my uh, spiritual eyes and God Almighty show me the vision because the light the color is like it is a uh, whitish Florian's colors and it's coming up and down up and down up and down up and down so what is up going up the light is representing people's graduate their life and then going up to the heaven and then the light is coming down people's like coming down from the heaven which is a newborn baby even right now whatever I am recording and this uh, word of the God Almighty and even now newborn baby is born and the people's life graduate and that they'll die and then going up the so it is up and down up and down up and down up and down the problem is where are you came from and what are you doing right now and where are you going the choice is individual just so no one else will be dying most important things this is very important no one else will be die but the, the, the thing is where are you going to live with who? So the most important thing is the God Almighty, Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, with righteous people, so with, and then holy angels belong to heaven forever in, he in heaven penthouse. Or so you choose wrong direction, so which is a Satan, and which is a Satan's followers, which is demons, and which is lawless people, which is sinners, and they're living in the uh, downfit of the which is like a uh, hell and which is like um, um, snake pit snake pit and with the uh, with the uh, sinners and the evil spirits and satans and forever uh, judgment and it is judged by God Almighty and the suffering forever which one would you like to choose choice is yours individual so believe Yeshua, Yeshua is real God, God Almighty. He is creator of the universe. True faith in Yeshua, true repentance, true love in your heart, and the righteous act. And your soul, spirit, mind, heart, and body, which are holy and pure and clean, and with a, whole, a, a strong, bold, and a clean as a, like a clean water, and a, as a, like a lighter air. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Yeshua is coming very, very soon. Especially, Yeshua is real. Re real God and behold the name of Yeshua and keep your faith until uh, you enter the kingdom of God and um, are protected by gatekeeper angels you have to keep your faith do not deny do not betray about the Yeshua Christ Yeshua is real God brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ Yeshua Christ is coming very very soon be ready yourself to be raptured Shalom